we have a lot of historic and other attractions down here. Um, there are a ton of new you know, private and public projects that are bringing people in and out, the completion of the Oculus at the World Trade Center, the Bull, and now the Fearless Girl. And the people that live here love it down here. The population has grown very dramatically and very rapidly uh, in the years since 9-11, uh, and it's now considered the fastest growing uh, residential community in the city, uh, as well as still continuing to be a central business district because we retain the business core. And we also have a large influx of tourists uh, who come here for the many tourist attractions, including now the 9-11 Memorial and other related sites uh, at the World Trade Center. Resiliency uh, city services, both in terms of schools and even things like sanitation and uh, congestion, street traffic. Rent stabilization is really important in our district where rent prices can skyrocket from month to month. And that's actually something that we see very often with landlords, you know, really operating in this gray area and trying to get people to move out so they can make more money on a new building. Since uh, Superstorm Sandy, resiliency has become a very pressing need. The district is not prepared for an event of that kind, and we only expect there to be more events of that kind, unfortunately, in the future. Uh, due to the climate change and you know, extreme weather events uh, seem to be uh, becoming more common. We have a lot of long-term residents who've been here through all of that and so working with them is a great opportunity to help see the passion they have for the neighborhood and that they don't want to lose the things that make it such a special place. A lot of new families with children are moving down here and there are limited recreational opportunities. Affordable grocery stores is always an issue. So it puts strain on the community in a lot of different ways. It's really important that we have good communication and support from our elected officials. So people that are really qualified to read through these plans that are coming through applications for development or rezoning are really able to understand that. Communication really is key.